So the Fed came out this week, Jerome Powell, they said they're going to keep rates steady. Probably a, a good decision. Uh, the Fed doesn't make too many good decisions and they're literally terrible at making uh, interest rate uh, decisions overall uh, in, in the macro. In the micro, they're, they're, they're just terrible in general. So the, <laughs> the one good decision they've made probably so far is keeping rates unchanged. And you know, around that five percent mark, uh, five and five and five point two five, I believe, somewhere around their Fed funds, five point two five to five five and a half. Uh, th this is a an unbelievable time we live in. We have the the ten year just in the last week was basically at five percent. Now it's dropped down to almost four and a half percent. Uh, got down to about 4.6. Yeah, it's at 4.5%, just above 4.5% right now, uh, Friday. So just in the span of a week, this doesn't, the bond market usually moves slowly. It's the the, the risk-free reward. It's the st stability, the stable market. But when you start understanding that the bond market is built on your enslavement, and that's going to be a shock to most people, and it's built on you giving the government ca your own cash, and then saying, give me this back and interest in the future. And then you realize the government doesn't produce anything of profit other than taxing their citizens. You realize that you just now confirm you will have taxes in the future and your children will get taxed in the future to pay back the cash you gave them to do what with exactly? Send over to Israel, to Ukraine, to Taiwan, to Afghanistan. What are, what are, what are we doing this for at the end of the day? And most people don't even know they're investing in bonds because they're just investing blindly in 401ks and pensions and 529s and different things that someone, some manager, some investment manager who has no experience, which again, read read the, the books, Who Stole My Pension? Uh, read this, the basis of everything 150 years ago, stealing your wealth, uh, communism, Marxism, and it's aided by people, uh, academia, institutions, media, who are now running all these in, in all, all these positions in, in these positions of power. And a lot of them don't even know they're communists, but they are because they've been trained and brainwashed. Like we've seen in our universities, that's why Trump just announced the American University program. And we see what's going on with people supporting terrorism all around the world. Literally, kids on our campuses supporting terrorism all around the world. It's, it's amazing. It's an amazing thing when you're brainwashed for decades and then your parents have been brainwashed and they're telling you certain things or not telling you anything, not parenting you on real life. And you have a bunch of little communists, a bunch of little Marxists running around. It's weird how that works. So we've got to fight on our hands. Anyone who, who respects the, the rule of law, private property, the Bill of Rights, Constitution, wealth, uh, your free, you know, life, liberty, pursuit of happiness, all that, all those things we used to, you know, hold sacred here, uh, and we're self-evident. Yeah, those people have a fight on their hands. That's that would be me and you, uh, <laughs> and our families, and the community we're building, and the people around us. That's what we have in store for us going forward. Uh, and my father even said it. Uh, you know, hey, it sucks that we have to live through these times. You used to read about these times in history books, and. It sucks that we have to live through them now, but it is what it is. We are put here for a reason. We are here, you and I, to put a, a stop to this, to put an end to this, to disinfect the darkness with light, with truth, period. I 100% wholeheartedly believe that with every ounce in me, that we are put here for this time, for this reason. Certain people are called to do certain things. Not everyone is held to the same standard. We you know, to who much is given, much is expected. And with great power comes great responsibility. And I don't take those things lightly. I know we are here for a reason. We are here to to wake up the the, the minority of people, the 3%, the 3%, they're like the Revolutionary War, the 3% who woke up and said, no more. I'm not taking any more from this king, this despot, this tyrant. We're not doing this. The government works at the consent of us. Check the founding documents. Bill of Rights, the Constitution, Declaration of Independence are very clear. The government works at our behalf and is turned around. The government thinks that we work for them now, and that's going to change. Mark my words, that will change. But it only will change with the peaceful revolution of us standing up, of us taking our money out of the system. And and this the fiat debacle, the fiat legacy titanic debt-based system sinking, and the new monetary system rising, buying Bitcoin, getting a little bit of gold and silver, getting out of the system, food, land, energy, uh, guns, firearms, security, ammo, being independent, being self-sovereign, -so, self so that way you don't have to take the BS from the people above you, period. That is it, at the end of the day. That is being American. That is literally the, the essence of being American, being self-sovereign, being, doing good things for yourself and your family, then create something good for the whole. If everyone's doing something good for themselves and taking care of themselves and being independent, being resilient themselves, guess what? The collective doesn't have a problem then. You know, newsflash, the collective 
is made up of a bunch of individuals. So again, we get that wrong. This, the universities have brainwashed us, right? We've talked about this many times. We're gonna go into this much more. We're gonna write some books about this in the coming years here, actually. I have some outlines for books about the education system over the last hundred, couple hundred years. Slowly diverting away from reality and, and slowly di diverting away from individualism towards collectivism. And the problem with collectivism is that it does things just for one size fits all, which people get caught up in the wash and they, they get taken out because of what's good for the collective. And that's generally a couple of people at top saying, hey, this is what's good for all people. But again, when you realize that people, when they're doing what's best for themselves and they're taking care of themselves, the whole advances, the community advances because everyone then is taken care of because they're doing what they're incentivized to take care of themselves. This is a very easy, logical concept to understand and put together two plus two equals four. Unfortunately, so many people have been brainwashed by academia and media and social media and pop culture, Hollywood, that they can't even see clearly. That is the problem. I know that is one of my purposes. I know that is one of my purposes to help people see truth here. It has been for the last 20 years of my life, since I was a child. I've known that deep down to my core. It was very obvious to me. I was, I was blessed with a very uh, great life growing up and, and played very high level sports and being able to see work and accountability and merit and the, the essence of that and the beauty of that. And then I've been able to see the other side of the tracks of people not operating in that world and the disastrous effects it's had on their life. The Fed is going to continue to be reactive and be sloppy. It is up to us to be proactive and to understand what's actually happening so that way we, that way we can take care of our families. That is why I advocate, and we talk about this all the time, buying Bitcoin, being out of the system, being your own central bank, buying a little bit of gold and silver, food, energy, ammo, firearms, water, security, land, and building community. Knowing your local rancher, knowing your local farmer, knowing your, your, your sheriff who is there to respond to you and the Constitution. Please share this out. Elgrim hates truth. We're on Rumble, we're on our Substack, go to our blog there, you know, we're on TikTok. Uh, I'm trying to think of other platforms now. We're, we're on, we're, I'm posting this to Twitter now. Uh, I'm going to post our videos to Twitter. We have to get prepared for what is coming. There is, there is no end game other than a debt spiral that we're in and mass chaos. Like, I'm, I'm sorry to say, I'm sorry to, to put that out there and break it to myself, <laughs> to everyone. I, I don't even believe it at times. Like, are we really, is this really going to happen? Yes. Of course, all history has shown us that. It's either going to be massive inflation going forward to try to get us out of the debt we're in, which is going to be crisis for many people, or we're going into a hyperflationary collapse, or we're going to go into a deflationary collapse. Either of those three ways where that we somehow have like just really high inflation, we don't go into hyperinflation, really bad, and then the hyperinflationary collapse or the deflationary de collapse, both really terrible. So we probably should get prepared. That's what history is telling us. That's what the data is telling us. That's why the Fed is pausing rates. And then you have other people out there, very smart people saying, hey, there's gonna be a lot of bad things coming in the next year. This could get really bad. Get prepared, get prepared. You're never gonna be mad that you prepared. You're never gonna be mad that you had some 25 year shelf life food storage. You're never gonna be mad that you had extra water, uh, some extra gas, wreck gas. You know, being prepared is the essence of being human. Light must disinfect darkness. That is what we are here for. That is what we are called to do, to stand up. Good to stand up in the face of evil. Evil only persists because good men sit idly by silent and say nothing. That is it. What are we going to do? Please share this out. Elgrim hates truth. Question everything with boldness, even the existence of God himself. Trust but verify this is not financial advice. It is freedom advice. And I look forward to seeing you on the next one.